Remind us of the many worlds hypothesis. When we teach undergraduates quantum mechanics, we say that a quantum system has two different ways of evolving. There's one way it can evolve when you're not looking at it. And that's what Schrodinger and Heisenberg and their friends figured out back in the day. But then there's a whole nother way that we need to describe that behavior when we make a measurement, when we observe the system. Famously in quantum mechanics, you can't predict deterministically, precisely, with 100% confidence, what answer you're going to get. You can predict a probability distribution over different possible answers. What is this going on with this weird thing? You don't expect measurements, observations, looking at things to be part of the fundamental nature of reality, right? You know, it never was before quantum mechanics came along. So you can ask yourself, what if like all of that was unnecessary? This whole idea that we need a separate rule for what happens when we measure something? What if you just erase that from the rules of quantum mechanics? And the answer is that what you find is that every possible measurement outcome comes true, but in a different world, in a different part of the overall quantum universe, you get parallel worlds where different measurement outcomes are true. So that the, these different worlds are in the same realm? Is that the case? Or are we talking about completely different unfoldings that create completely different scenarios that make the whole thing work?